Check, check, check. You want me to do Shut that? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't think I introduced you yet. You know, I'm trying not to cuss either. The f- first thing you got me saying, <laughs> you get me mad so fast. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to episode five of Mo- of the Mulberry Podcast. I'm your host, Dallas Hooford. I would like to welcome the mob, which is you guys, the Mulberry mob, you know what I'm saying, who takes her time out of their day. You guys take your time out of your day, one day a week, two days a week, however many times you watch this shit, okay? And you sit behind that screen. Hmm? What the fuck is this? <laughs> it's my it's my uh, hey Siri on my beat. <laughs> hey yo, don't say that. Turn that what? Turn that bullshit <laughs> off. Turn it off. I'm about to kick your ass off, dude. You're listen. fucking me up. <laughs> oh man, she literally said, hmm? <laughs> "What the fuck, dude?" <laughs> so I'd like to welcome the Mulberry Mob. That's you guys. He done fucked my whole shit up. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, this is episode five. Um, so every week I'm I'm trying to make improvements on this podcast. I'm trying to make it more to sound better, more aesthetically pleasing. I know it's kind of plain right now, but I'm going to have some things in the on the way already. Every week you're going to see little by little something a little more. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do right now. And uh, I really appreciate you guys continuous, continuously being supportive and uh, it's fun, man. This is just exciting. I'm I'm really hard critic on myself more than anyone. So every week, you know, I I, li- I go back, I listen to the podcast, I look at it, I look at things I could do better, look at things that, you know, maybe you guys probably don't even really care or notice or, you know, I'm always looking at, you know, things. Um, I got a couple mics on the way, some better quality mics, so... Hopefully it sounds a little more professional. That's what I'm going for. And uh, yeah, I got a couple people who have reached out and wanted to talk with me about, you know, how I do this and how my setup is and stuff. And I didn't forget about you, Francisco. Okay, young Panchito. Um, once I get those mics in, see how they work. Hopefully everything sounds a lot to my liking. And uh I'll make sure to send you everything I got so you could uh, go from there. But yeah, I got some, also have, uh, I have a couple designs being made as we speak in the work, some new designs, some some uh, upgrades to some of the logos and stuff. And as always, this podcast is brought to you by MulberryDreams.com, Mulberry Dreams Clothing, where you could go to MulberryDreams.com. Uh, right now we have two t-shirts. I have the Mulberry's Drug Tea in white and red. All sizes are available for that. I also have the Dream Juice Tea available. The extra large and the 2X is sold out. So yeah. Um, what else we got here? Well, I guess I can introduce this fucking guy. Uh, he doesn't really deserve a proper intro. So, here he is. This is my brother, Young Dalt, Young D. Hoof. What's going on? The in and out man. <laughs> yeah, in and out man. Burgers up. Always. Every day. All day? All day, every day. Burgers up. 10 a.m.? Yeah, we get a tour bus at 10 a.m. and we're up like 40 burgers already. So, you get, how often do you get a tour bus? Oh, um... Tour buses, we get um, we get them a lot on the weekends, so like Sundays especially, and then like church groups and stuff like that too. Um, but I remember like two weeks ago, we we're getting a tour bus like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like so random, dude, like early morning. Who's on these tour buses? Um, we get a lot of tourists from China, Japan, other countries, and um, we're like, our town's the gateway to Yosemite, that's what people call it. So they're on their way to Yosemite, that's like a big national, and I guess worldwide place to go visit same with in and out huh i guess yeah it's probably on the little 
tour guide. Oh yeah, best American food in th- around in and out, baby. You know. So. Well, how you been, man? Uh, we live together, but I never see you. Literally. Yeah, I mean, you work nice, and I'm in the day, so it's like yeah, we got opposite that. schedules. So you know. Yeah. Um, swimming, school, work, nonstop. Oh, you swimming, huh? Swimming, yeah. Just had a swim meet recently. Looking good, bro. You got that nice physique going, you know? Yeah, I know. I got this bulky jacket on, but underneath it's just Ooh. pure, pure lean machine, you know? Yeah, your no, body I'm says kidding. stud, but your hairline says midlife crisis. So what the <laughs> fuck we doing? You could yeah, already expose me, bro. We're like five minutes in. Ain't no, <laughs> ain't no one exposing it. It's right there, bro. <laughs> right there, bro. Yeah, I need to start wearing I mean, some hats. It, it, find some good hats to be wearing lately. So. Some hats or some fucking uh, some, some Rogaine men, you know, or a razor. Straight up shave all that off. You just gonna go full? Yeah, go skinhead like that in episode four. You gonna yeah. go full American History X or what? <laughs> I don't know about all that, but. <laughs> straight skinhead huh <laughs> that's that's a little excessive but yeah <laughs> yeah damn um, bro. yeah swimming i guess our relay team and i had i did terrible i swam faster the day before like by like two seconds but we're 13th in the state i believe and top 12 get to go to state so we're like borderline right now that's cute yeah pretty cute so you think you guys are pretty good or what uh, i think we got a shot to go so it'd be cool to do and then if we get top, I think ten or eight, it relays are kind of different from individuals. Then you're a uh, all American, so, so that'd be almost, cool. You gonna be all American this year? I mean, that'd be really cool to do, but um, I'm not gonna say that right now. So I'm just gonna keep grinding, and do what yeah. I do. Well, I already seen come. Well, I already watched you once, so I don't think I'm gonna come again. That shit was fucking boring. <laughs> Thank right. God it was that like was an a hour. Short beat too, yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this last one was a two day beat, bro. <laughs> it was like, it's like. You go ahead, and just text me your results. I'll Google them. <laughs> it's on Meet Mobile, bro. Download Meet Mobile. Meet Mobile? Yeah, it's an app called. Meet that sounds Mobile. like a fucking gay porn site. <laughs> I'm not it's ever gonna gay. look I'm up not, Meet Mobile. Not a lie, dude. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, I don't know who would download it unless you're like. So you like for for uh you know track athletes like myself we had uh it's called runner space yeah it's literally or athletic.net not (laughs) meet mobile yeah meet mobile and then i guess there's like another website the boy mikey that you met last week that wants to go on the podcast too he uh oh fucking bogdanovich yeah yeah he wore sacramento king's jersey yeah um, <laughs> and got that shit at the fucking Atwater Flea. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, he was like telling Coach about a bunch of websites like that the other day, and we were all making fun of him. Like, nobody cares. Nobody cares about swimming. <laughs> so. Literally. If no one cares about track, no one, definitely no one cares about swimming. Yeah. So, except this guy, Mikey, he, uh, he'll like, he'll probably, you just ask him what the American record is for any event, and he probably knows it. He just researches that stuff. That's funny because when I was in college, uh, when I was at Utah State, uh, there was kids like that who like, oh, they talked about so-and-so from university of who gives a fuck. Like, yeah. I'm just saying like, I literally don't care at all. <laughs> you know? I just worried about myself, you know, worry about yourself. That's kind of. You know. I just go out there and get wrecked and call it a day. You know what I'm saying? I don't give yeah. a fuck who beat me. Yeah. Who won? Who beat you? All of them. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> my whole heat and every other heat no dude it was at that I'm not, it, just can't be it was that at bad. stanford when when i went to stanford my freshman year i literally i think i got last last <laughs> i got i got R. yeah R. I, I got fucking meat mobiled <laughs> <laughs> i got straight up meat mobile in that thing in the stanford yeah collegiate meat <laughs> hell yeah dude so since you literally brought nothing to the table to talk about, I guess I'll just get down to it. That sounds that sounds that sounds about right. Yeah. I literally feel like I have to do this almost every podcast. I think every single podcast there's been a rest in peace. But uh, I wanted to say rest in peace to Pop Smoke, man. That uh, I think it was last Wednesday. Yeah, it was, that was some tragic news. Yeah, he was, was 20 Tuesday. years old. It was Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. Yeah. It was like Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Yeah. And that was uh 
that was some tragic news. Um, it's just sad to see somebody who not just is starting their career, but literally starting their life, you know, get killed like that. Um, th- I saw an article. It said uh, at one point the rapper or a member of his entourage uploaded a photo of a black gift bag tagged with his Hollywood Hills address. Another photo showed in, showed him posing by a white Range Rover with the address of the home partly visible in the background. So, you know, people who saw that, you think, because he had a party that night, you think like, oh, let's go to the party, not, not let's, oh, let's pull up and just murk this dude. Like, that's just foul, man, you know? And I guess the only thing I could say, you know, is just, you just got to be careful and you really got to watch, you know, what you post and how you go, how you move around because there's... I, there's people just who just simply don't care or don't have anything going for them and just will just end your life because you're trying to do something. You're making something of yourself. And uh, it's just crazy because I don't even know if he really had beef like that with anyone, seriously, you know? So I was really into his music. I started listening to like his single, Christopher Walking. And then his album came out like, a couple weeks or even like a week maybe before that happened. So, man, I don't really like coming on here and talking about this stuff, but it seems pretty frequent in 2020. I don't really know what's going on, but, but yeah, it's just, uh, sad times for that. Yeah. It's been a lot of people passing away lately. Just, you know, yeah. Kind of nuts. It's only February. Yeah, so rest in peace is pop, rest in peace to Pop Smoke. It's crazy because I was <laughs> I referred to Dad as Pop Smoke in the podcast. That was on that Tuesday before he passed, and then he passed yeah. that night or Wednesday morning. Dad was, had no idea. And I literally we uploaded about. the video, and then I went on my phone, and I was like, <clears throat> "What?" I thought it was fake news, but sadly, it wasn't. So rest in peace to him. All right, so next guy who died. Got another oh one for God, you. Dude. I'm going to double up on this shit. Where is it at? Uh, Mad Mike. Mad Mike Hughes, the daredevil, died. I, I don't know who that is, so you're going to have to elaborate. I, I'm working on it. It's all good. I'll show you. What a daredevil, huh? Yeah. Like Evil Knievel type dude. I never even knew those were still around. Hell yeah, dude. Mad Mike Hughes, who wanted to prove... (laughs) Who wanted to prove the flat earth theory dies in homemade rocket disaster. Yes, I said that correctly. I got a video for you. Let's look at it. Developing news, CBS News has confirmed that daredevil Mad Mike Hughes died after his homemade rocket crashed just after takeoff near Barstow. All right, I'm going to stop here real quick. Let me back it up, make sure I heard that correctly. Just after takeoff near Barstow, died after his homemade rocket crashed. Homemade rocket? Is that even legal? Um, I... Probably not, because there's like illegal fireworks that you don't even make homemade, you know. So yeah, so homemade rocket. Who's making homemade rockets and like, yeah, this looks safe. I'm gonna shoot this thing up to the stratosphere, <laughs> not just to jump out and parachute out, but to prove the Earth is flat. Let's continue. Just after takeoff near Barstow, sources say the 64-year-old was using the rocket in an attempt to get as close 64. to space as possible. His empty parachute was seen in that video falling down to the ground. Hughes was ejected from the rocket afterward, and he fell to his death. She said he was 64 years old. Yeah, he's an old-ass man. (laughs) I I, I guess he's been, like, making rockets and shit his whole life. I don't know. But (laughs) you can literally see his parachute, like, fall off. So, like, when you see that at that point... I mean, I don't know. I mean... 
Look, I'm not I'm not on here hating on the guy, but Jesus, you make a homemade rocket, you want to shoot up into the and almost outer space to prove that the Earth is flat. Like, you really don't need to do all that to prove that the Earth is flat because the Earth is not flat. Point blank. Period. So I hope he uh, hope that I hope that man's That's in a better not, place, bro. What's so fucking funny, dog? It's not funny. Huh? It's Old not, man dying? That's what gets not, you off, huh? No. It's not funny at all. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> you laughing, bro. I don't know. <laughs> Rest in peace to Mad Mike. Dude. What do you I said do rest in peace it? and Siri pops up. <laughs> what <do you> fuck <laughs> Damn, fuck off, sorry. bro. I guess we'll move on. I don't want to talk too much on that. Did you watch the Wilder versus Fury fight? No, I heard about it. Um, was it kind of like an upset, was it? I heard people, I don't know, there's people going off on Twitter like, I, I told you so. I called it. Like, dude, half people are going to say yeah, and half people are going to say no. So well, somebody's just... going to be right, you know? Yeah. That's just two big-ass men just swinging. Like, there was literally <laughs> blood everywhere. And I didn't watch it, but the only thing I really want to show you is my guy Fury is a straight psychopath. And I'll show you why if I can find it right here. The blood splatter all over Fury's head. He is wearing... Okay, first of all, they're literally bleeding everywhere. He has blood all over his head. Both of them. A lot of Wilder's blood right now. Blood continues to rain down from the ear. Fury continues to press in against Wilder. And Fury looks like... Now this is where it gets cute. This is where it gets real intimate. I've never seen two giant bloody savages get intimate with each other. <laughs> he lands a good punch. Deontay will go down. He's definitely Does he, doesn't look like What was he just feet. doing with his tongue right there? He's definitely Does he, doesn't look what was he just Fury looks like if he lands a good punch, Deontay will go down. He's definitely Does he, doesn't look like What was he just feet. doing with his tongue right there? He was just shot. He said in the lead up, I want to taste blood. I believe. I don't, I don't want to comment on that. That's <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> the commentator said, My man's not only whipping this dude's ass, he's licking his neck. <laughs> that's uh, that's Fury, right? He's trying to earn his red wings. Or is it? Yeah, that's Fury. He's yeah. trying to earn his red wings, bro. <laughs> yeah, all right. In the ring. That's what he was just doing there at the end of six. Tasting. Uh, I watched him fight. I don't know if it was that fight, but he was just like, that dude. He is a savage. He'll be taunting whoever he's fighting. Even if he's losing, he'll be like, he always does that. I'm like, Who's oh. that? Fury. Oh. He always like, hit me right here. And then even though he's losing, he's like, I just did it. You right there, bro. Like, Bro, that man is massive. Even if he gets punched. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't even really phase him that bad. That dude is a monster. I mean. He would probably snap your neck if he punched you in the face. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, man. Uh yeah, I don't, I wouldn't want to be in the ring with him at any point. I don't care how in shape I am, how f how out of shape he is. You're gonna die. Yeah, that man looks like. I mean, <clears throat> who's that one? There's like that Mexican boxer. He's like hella chubby, but he's hella good. He's chubby. Yeah, but he's chubbier than Fury. Uh, he's a big old chubby dude. I forget who he, I forget his name, but he's pretty cool, man. Um, bro, I was not prepared. F I was not prepared today. I didn't expect, I didn't think you were going to be on. I want to talk about your palace fit. Shit, what's up with it, bro? <laughs> Shit, look cute as fuck. It looks good until, you know, you keep going up and up and up. This is this fat orange fucking blob. <laughs> Whatever's going on right there. It's bro. like a fucking. It's like waterproof, dude. I mean, it isn't you know even saying? like rain. You gotta keep here. your head warm. It's freaking seventy degrees outside. Not We're not yet. outside. Uh, 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't I like it or what? I like it. It looks cool. I was just, I was just asking about it. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I think this shit looks fucking nice, bro. Uh, Imagine if we dressed like this in elementary school. I feel like no, nobody would notice. Like <laughs> we're all like five. Dude, when you have kids, old. you won't you won't spend uh three hundred dollars on a fucking fit for your sixth grader. Um. Or your first I, I grader? Would, I'd give them some nice shoes and stuff, but I'm not trying to spend a whole fit on them. They're going to grow out of it. I mean, they got to be yeah, somewhat true. smart. Like, you know. But uh, didn't Palace just drop some, like, golf attire? Yeah, they dropped some golf attire. Palace skateboard brand drops. drops yeah, they golf. dropped soccer gear last golf year. Or last I, did, I, did, I did see that, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Shout out to Palace, bro. Shout out Palace, Palace. London. That's where it's at. I'm off Supreme. Fuck Supreme. Even though I wore a box logo last week, but it's all good. Yeah, I'm still on it, man. You um, got me all up on it. I did. I'd be doing hella research on that. What do you What do you remember from elementary school? Do you remember learning anything, or do you think it was pointless? <clears throat> I think the only thing I took out of elementary school was three things. Well, okay, one thing being two things in one is adding and subtracting, and then one multiplication and division and then the only thing i took out of like english or anything like that was like put a comma be- before and or or but <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> are the, like three things i still use to this day i didn't even get adding or multiplication out of them i still add with my fingers and i nah, need i need uh, a goddamn calculator but for simple math i mean i understand that because um most <clears throat> most people to this day still like just don't have that memorization of multiplication division or anything like that so yeah um i think the only thing that i really got out of elementary school was learning how to count learning how to count yeah you remember the number song uh i don't want to remember the number song do you remember the i number don't song? remember it at all though because i Bro, probably did that's the like one it. thing i never forgot in elementary school i think i learned it in like kindergarten that's like the only thing i remember you're not going to see it, are you? <laughs> you want me to? <laughs> I don't, it's your podcast, bro. No. I remember the red song. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where do the numbers in? Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Three, six, nine, twelve. Time to ring the lunch bell. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Jump in like a jelly bean. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Counting faster, we got plenty. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Where do the numbers in? Leap frogging over numbers one by one and two by two. You can count all day, but you'll never get through. You feel me? I remember, I remember all the way to the sixteen jumping jelly bean, and then after that, that was all you, bro. Yo, I don't remember that. When shit. I figured out that numbers never end, it blew my fucking mind, bro. <laughs> it made me want. I literally remember. It made me want to stop doing math. I I remember sitting at my desk. You know the desk that like went up. And you like had all your shit. In oh there. yeah, dude, those are th- those are classics, right? I'm there. just sitting there, like, like you could just keep adding zeros, <laughs> and like my whole like I I I like opened up this new realm in my brain of just like <laughs> space and emptiness and infinity, and the whole idea of infinity just fucking ruined me, dude. Like. <laughs> fucked up for I was a week, so bro. like the whole next week like it didn't make any sense to me how like something could never end and like just go on forever like numbers blew my mind but shout out to the number song and shout out Miss Livinall my Livinall. kindergarten teacher I think my that's team. when I learned it yeah that the number song dude we Livinall. should just the color songs were almost living off. R E D red. R E D red. I could spell red. I could spell red. Fire trucks are red. Stop signs are red too. R E D R E D. We get hyped off spelling Dude. three letter words, bro. Let me tell you. About Kindergarten, it. we just fucking just in there just <laughs> spitting bars <laughs> spitting all day. Bars all day. Taking naps. Taking naps. Spitting up, bars. Spitting bars. <laughs> eating fruit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love you some fruit, bro. We go to recess, come back, the leprechaun 
came in and left candy on the on the desk and tables. Oh, dude, I remember the leprechaun. I'd always try to find him. Yeah, she literally. got mad at us because we'd be running around, um, looking in the corners of the classroom, looking for the the goddamn leprechaun that doesn't exist. Do you do you remember? Um, what do you remember that isn't like learning, but like, what do you remember in elementary school? Like friends or playground stuff. Like I remembered, I was fucking terrified of Mr. Sanchez. Oh yeah, he made me cry. In first I know grade. he made me go get you because he thought you talked back to him, and I literally told him, "I'm he, like." He thought I talked back and said the f bomb, and in first grade that was a big deal. So you know, I damn well wasn't saying that. I think you were in second grade. No, I was in first. I remember I was in Miss Betancourt's class, and oh, he came and grabbed okay. me. Okay. Yeah, so he told me, I was like, in my head, I'm like, um, Mr. Sanchez, I really don't think that my brother would say something like that. Makes me go get him, brings him into the sixth grader class, in front of the whole class, flames him. And Dalton just started crying. And then he finally realized, he's like, wait, this is your brother? I'm like, yeah. Like, he realized, like, you weren't the one who said it. But, like, he, like, oh, yeah, literally bring flamed me and flame me. And then be like, look, and then finally look at me in the face and be like, oh, yeah, this isn't the right kid. <laughs> I like, that's bro. What, I think about that to, to this, this day, day. Like, I bro, you didn't realize that when he came in? Like, you wanted to just shit because, all over him? Uh, what he said was there was uh, two other kids named Dalton on campus. And I think he said he didn't see who talked back to him. He just heard it and turned around. And it was like someone said, oh, it was Dalton. So he just said in his head, boom, Dallas is little brother Dalton. Yeah, right. Or that was like his excuse. I don't know. I don't care. I was like, I was six years old. I have a right to cry whenever I want. So no shame. Nah. Nah. No shame. Nah. Nah, he made me piss my pants once. <laughs> Bro, why would you ever say anything like that? Why would you admit to that? Because it's true. <laughs> Literally yelled at I me. Never so remember we used to play mush ball? Oh, we yeah, had teams. Dude, that was the best. One year we had flag football. Yeah, and he wanted me that. on his team, and that's when I was running back for uh, for youth. Okay. And he was the varsity coach. I think I was on JV or even Pee Wee, maybe Pee Wee. And at school, at recess, we were we were practicing our little flag football plays, and I was running back, and I got the ball, and I was running. Hell, I was running super fast. And he stops and he's like, and he has like this deep voice. Like, if you know Mr. Sanchez from Elmer Wood, like you already know, uh, he had this deep voice and he's like, Why didn't you run like that on Saturday? And I was just like, had the ball in my hands. And he's like, You need to run hard like that all the time. And he goes, uh, Cause on Saturday, you ran scared. You ran scared. And I literally pissed my fucking <laughs> chonies, dude, right there. And I was just like, I was like, okay, okay, and literally didn't even want to go to school ever again. I was so freaking scared of that guy, but he's a good guy. I just when I was younger, his yeah, voice like younger, dude, you, just, you don't know any. I better. was terrified. But I I remember the day you broke your arm in elementary school, because I was there. Do you remember that? No, I don't remember you being there. I was on the big kid playground. I wasn't there yet. I okay, so you were in fourth grade, right? Yeah, so I was in kindergarten. I was in with Ms. Livinall singing songs and just in there barring it, bar, barring bar it to death. death. Went to recess and you remember that big uh, metal igloo with the bars that you yeah. could hang from? <laughs> so I did I was doing like I pulled myself up over the igloo and then my finger slipped and then I came down and smacked my chin on the <laughs> bar. <laughs> I just, just straight smacked my chin on the bar. So uh, I was like holding my neck all day and she kept telling me to go get water and I didn't want to tell her because I was like five years old and didn't know like what to do. So then she eventually found out and sent me to the nurse's office. So I'm sitting in there like, you know, nah, being a little kid, whatever. The next thing I know, I hear this freaking screaming in the office, like coming into the nurse's office. And the next thing I know, my brother's coming in holding his arm, like screaming. And I was like, what's wrong? And he's like, he's not answering me. He's freaking yelling. And uh, then it was like right around the time my mom was supposed to pick me up because uh, kindergartens got out like, uh, like what, like 12 hell early? Yeah. Anyways, my mom comes in just to see me because Miss Livinall told her, hey, um, your son's in the office. 
So she comes in like, what the heck? Like, why are both my kids in here? You know, like, <laughs> what is going on? And I was like, I was probably screaming. You're like screaming. I'm there just like swinging my legs because I'm feeling better because you put Neosporin or whatever on my chin because I just had like a little cut or yeah. something. And yeah, my mom was like, what is going on? So yeah, we both went to the doctors. Yeah, you used to be an innocent little kid, but not anymore, man. Yeah, you you got a pink cast. I remember that. I was there. Yeah, when my dad was that. pissed. It was cool when you got all these signatures on it. It's like pink and black. It's like, yeah, yeah. That's back when you were nice. When I was nice. Yeah, I'm still nice. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. You want to talk about that time you punched me in the face a couple weekends ago? Nah, I don't want to talk about that. You don't want to talk about that? Nah. That's not something we need to discuss. Yeah, I think so. We this need... dude, we go out. Nah, He's dude, 21 we don't now. Need to talk about it. He's 21 now. We don't need to Wants talk to go about out it. with the big boys, huh? <laughs> Wants to come out drinking with the big dogs. This is. Can I just like do a big? Doesn't handle. Story? Doesn't Can't know how to handle his shit. liquor. Yeah. Doesn't know how to handle his liquor. <laughs> we go to uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. We get. We eat. We get drunk there, and we head over to the bar. He's just taking down shots, just acting tough, and he's literally like, like a bartender's like worst nightmare. Like he like spilt shit all over the bar got yelled at not only that he's like hitting on the 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 bartender he's like hey <laughs> i was not hey! like that yeah you no were no way hey! like just, <laughs> it was loud in it was there. super loud in there and all you hear is him. i just hear my <laughs> ear ringing just hey <laughs> i want some more like damn dude you ain't throwing one in high. there <laughs> and i told him bro you need to chill out he's like fuck you like with a lazy eye because he's fucking <laughs> drunk and like spitting all over me. Just fuck you. Then he spills his drink and the bartender gets pissed. Yes. Yeah, she's leave. like, you do that again. I'm kicking you out. She's like, I should have kicked you out already. And I, I looked at him. I said, I fucking told you, bro. Like you can't just just because you're 21 don't mean you can come in a bar and just act how you want. Like you got to have some type of etiquette. He's just belligerent. Just. <sighs> <laughs> Just yelling at his <laughs> friends. Sorry, bro. I'll kick your ass. <laughs> like, hey, what's up, Don? How you doing? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> like, God I don't damn, think I'll do. Then he starts crying in the bar. So I'm over there, you know. I'm not such a dick to him. I'm kind of a softy. So even though he said he was going to beat my ass and all this and, and fucking, uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I told him, I said, wait till dad finds out. He's like, one, fuck dad. I never say that in my life. Two, oh fuck you and him up. I was <laughs> I like, <laughs> on God, that's, I know that's I didn't like say that. three. So, no, dude, no way. I said he goes that. two. <laughs> I'm like, bro. Anyway, nah. I was scared of that. So now, then, dude. one of his friends were there. Oh, yeah, this is bad. Drinking beer, I turn around, and, like, the dude starts choking on his beer. And he's like, <laughs> and just beer goes all over him. And he's so fucked up. He's, like, it's, like, behind him, and he, he like, <laughs> like, looking up like it's raining on him or something. I'm like, all right, we're out of here, bro. I'm fucking leaving, dude. So, <laughs> you should have got me out of there sooner, man, please. Like, God damn it, Siri. So anyway, I'm like, all right, we're going. So I get him and my other buddy, and uh, we had a couple of buddies with us, but I don't know. They weren't with us at the time, but we go outside. He's getting all emotional again, and, you know, I'm getting annoyed. And I'm like, bro, get the fuck to the truck, bro. Like, why are you crying? Like, do you need a booster seat, like, to get in the car? Like, get in. <laughs> and he gets pissed. He's like, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> And my buddy was holding him, and he's like, "I'll kick your ass." I was like, "I was like, dude, just let him go." Like, so I'm like, "All right then, like, you gonna fight me? Then fight me." Sorry. So he goes, he swings, and I back up and I grab his hand, his fit, like the one he swung and missed. I grab it and I threw it back at him, and it pops him right in the lip. And he starts leaking. Like, he literally punched himself. Like, he's just <laughs> leaking. And I go, if you're going to hit me, then hit me, pussy. You know? And I didn't think he was going to do it. So I stood there. 
And he fucking, boom, just right here, right in the lip. And as he hit me, he fell <laughs> onto the ground and just, and he's just laying there like this. And oh, I'm like, so gone, bro. Dude. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So I grab him and I'm like, you feel better? Like he's, first of all, he's my brother and he's faded. Like, so he can't even stand up himself. So I'm not even going to just whip his ass, even though I was pissed. And my buddy's just standing there like, oh, my God, bro. Like, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> so then I get up and get him napkins, take care of him after he just full-blown hit me. And then I tell him, like, bro, you hit like a bitch. I'm not even bleeding. And then he's holding his shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> like, <laughs> and leaking blood. Like, oh, my God, bro. The only so that thing, is the first. I don't remember. The, and last time. Any of that except. Well, I remember last being, time, I remember feeling my, it was my nose or the lip, well, I don't know, and just seeing blood on my finger, and then just getting up and just cocking back and going for it. I don't even remember seeing you, I don't remember any of that. This dude trying to Tyson Fury me, <laughs> just throwing haymakers left and right, <laughs> probably don't even know, I don't even know probably sees like three at. of me, don't even know which one to swing at, he's just swinging. I'm surprised I hit you, honestly. Like even got yeah, I am too, touch. honestly. I'm like, yeah, whatever. You did a little brother syndrome. <laughs> yeah. Like literally didn't do anything to you the whole night. Sorry, man. <laughs> <I> <laughs> you really got a lot of bro. fucking internal anger <laughs> that just fucking came out right Not away. Not anymore, bro. It's all out. God, God damn, bro. Restart. Rebottle. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. No. Uh, my bad. You ready for baseball? Oh, big time, man. We got Mookie Betts on the Dodgers now. Kind of pumped for that. I know. I haven't even talked to you about any sports. Like I said, I don't even see this guy at all. Like, at all. Well, I mean, um, football's over. The XFL the XFL's still going, right? Yeah, I mean, it's like I the third. We're coming up on like the third or fourth week. They're still, yeah, they're I still mean, rolling. I haven't really watched it. I know um, Mikey, again, bring him up. He just picked a random team. He's like, Seattle Dragons, bro. All the way. I'm like, you don't even know anything about it yet. So, like, you can't be Well, he can pick team. that team because he's already a Kings fan. So, he don't know what the fuck he's doing. Yeah, he's a Kings fan. And then there's, like, this inside joke we always had uh, last water polo season. He's like, when we're in the hotel, he's like, what do you guys want to do right now? he would be like, let's go to Seattle. And we're like, what? <laughs> like, the first time he said that, I was like, he's like, it's only, like, a three-hour flight. We could go right now because we were in San Jose and the airport was right there. And he's like, let's go to Seattle and just come back. Coach will never know. You single, Dalton? Yeah, single. Are you jaded? Am I jaded? <laughs> yeah. You just brought up. Yeah, when they're mad, they don't listen. <laughs> they yeah, don't, bro. Up. They don't, dude. I ain't never had a girl mad and listen to me at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you bring up a good point. Good I don't date. even know if that's in the same equation. <laughs> like that's not just not. That's like not applicable. At the same time. Even I think it just any human, male or female, or whatever you identify as, you ain't listening if you're mad most of the time. So unless it's well, like your dad yelling at you, you know. Well, she probably ain't got no reason to listen to your ass anyway. And, and that's what they would tell you. I ain't got no reason to listen to you. <laughs> All those ratchet cheerleaders. That's How long you been talk. single for? Dang, get me in my. F- now I'm jaded. Like two and a half years, <laughs> damn. Man. Nah, uh, nah. But you Coming got a lot of friends though, man. Like I don't have. Well, I don't. I mean, I got friends and people that you know I like and that like me. But when it comes to like talking to people every day or like, like how you threw a party a couple weeks ago, like I couldn't put that together. I don't know that many people. I mean, that didn't. It wasn't like. I think the last one I had was funner. It was smaller. It wasn't like you know. I don't know. As. Um, I know a lot of people, but. You know, with that, it comes with doing athletics and all that. I mean, when you were in high school, you knew everyone. You know, you you did football. Yeah, but I track. Pr- I literally don't talk to anyone from my class. And there's like I, probably like four. I talk to who I play with now. You know, and then yeah. when I'm done with athletics and school, I'm only gonna talk to probably three or four of them because everyone's gonna go their separate ways. And Yo, I would love to talk to all of them, but fuck, I forgot what I was gonna tell it's you. It's hard to keep up with everyone. You know. Yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah. This dude threw a party a couple weekends ago. You mom, already told one story. Mom and pops weren't home. 
<laughs> mom and pops weren't home. They were out of town. So I guess that's uh, a good time for fucktard over here to have a bunch of people over at the house. Long story short, my parents found out and they were pissed and my dad thought it was me. I work at night, so I was sleeping when they came home. It was on a Monday. I was knocked out, peaceful sleeping. All I wake up to, bang! <laughs> my door just slam open. I'm just, oh, hey, Dad. Fucking, he goes, uh, you do a fucking party? <laughs> I was like, got no. <laughs> no. No, sir. I, 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 I didn't throw a party, dude. <laughs> he like goes, you didn't video. throw a party. You didn't have people over? I was like, no way. <laughs> no. I said, I straight up snitched. Snitched to the feds. I didn't even know my sentencing yet, and I already snitched. I was like, it was Dalton all the way. He goes, uh, he goes, well, who's the fucking man of the house? You know, he pulls that, and I was like, wow. me? No, that's my fault, dude. You know, sh shut up. He was like, me? And he's all, so you're responsible. I was like, dude, I was like, I told him it was a bad idea. And he's all, but you were out there drinking with all of them. I was like, I literally woke up from a nap, and there was people here. And I said, this is what got him, because he still didn't believe me. He thought, like, I had a bunch of people over. I go, Dad, I would never throw a party here. I'm literally afraid of you. And he looks at me, and he turns to, turns to my mom. He goes, it was your other fucking son. I was like, oh, <laughs> Oh fuck! He he bought it. <laughs> <laughs> he, bought, dude, he bought the truth. I was so fucking yeah, tired because I didn't go to sleep the rest of the day. And he was at work, so I got the I got the worst of it. He comes home a couple hours later. I'm right. I'm about to fall asleep. I'm back in bed. Finally, my heart you know slows down because he's a psycho. And I was like, literally got punched in the face because he was standing over me like this. You do a party? And I was literally like this. <laughs> and like nah dude chill 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 don't hit me just chill fuck and uh i'm about to fall asleep and all i hear is this dude pulling up and i was like oh boy <laughs> here it comes he walks through the door the next 10 minutes just getting grilled just getting straight meat mobile bro <laughs> meat mobile <bro>. just meat <laughs> mold yeah that was uh and i was nervous for him i'm in there like this Every time my dad, yeah. That dude gives me PTSD. Yeah, and he was sitting on the couch, and I didn't even take a step into the living room because I was like, I'm not even going to get close to him. I could talk to him from over here. It's all good. Um, not trying to die. So, hey, and then I, he goes to his room. I feel, I feel bad now. I'm like, damn, dude. <clears throat> he goes to his room. I text him. I'm like, you good? He's like, yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> I was like, fucking dude, I bad. thought they were going to You're a me. savage, because dude. Because the Well, Dad never laid I, hands I, on you before. Dad used to lay hands on me. I, I remember being in the shower one time and just hearing you getting wailed on, Just odd, getting dude. fucking Tyson Fury, bro. <laughs> yeah. And just beating my ass. Just, I came out like, He's what? just beating my ass and just... Uh, <laughs> fucking licking up the blood. I remember coming out of the shower and I was like, "What happened?" Dad's like, "Go to your fucking room." I was like, "Oh shit, <laughs> okay." <laughs> if that's the last thing I gotta hear today, that's fine, dude. As long as I don't get hit. <laughs> yeah, I remember one time we were watching the Cowboys game and they were losing, and my dad's all fucking yelling, <laughs> "You're fucking terrible! You guys fucking suck!" This and that. <laughs> this dude starts fucking snickering like. <laughs> And he literally looks at my brother, go to your fucking room. And he just <laughs> fucking made him go to his room because the Cowboys were losing. And my cousins were over. They were like this. Just like, fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Oh, I didn't my even God, say anything. Man. I just started trying not to laugh. Yeah, that dude's crazy. But you definitely had it way easier than I did. I'll admit to that for sure. I come home for visits when I was a... Uh, when I was in Utah, and he would come home. Where were you? And he'd just be like, I already told you. It's like, <laughs> I'm just sitting there like, ooh, it's about to go down. <laughs> and my dad's like, really? And then, like, that's it. And I'm just like, <laughs> I used to get my dad shit like, damn, you gone soft or what? And he's all, and then he'd, shut the fuck up, I beat your ass. I'm like, 
Damn, dude. Yeah, when I remember when you said the the first time you said "damn," you gone soft, and I thought about what I said, and I was like, "I better just start relax, dude. Yeah. Like, just get more relaxed, because uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I did get off. I'm on it. What the Yo. fuck? Yo, <laughs> series going off on a whole paragraph. Don, there there needs to be a way to turn that off, and we're gonna figure it out, and it's gonna happen. Okay. Sounds like a. I'm gonna start you want to know what the weather is? We can ask you. No, I don't want to know what the fucking weather is. It's, it's fucking, like 70 degrees it's outside. It's cool enough to wear this. Freaking it's wearing cool that. enough to wear this beautiful <laughs> yeah. ass fit, bro. I look like a fucking, uh, fucking, a cone. Look like a cone. Street like cone. a traffic cone. Traffic <laughs> cone. <laughs> it's like they get ice cream cone. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. like okay. is this the cone? And then like, that's the orange shirt. You want your hairline so far back, you fucking think too hard about <laughs> stupid shit. You get the orange sherbet on top, single scoop going on over here. Yeah, keep keep thinking like that. You're that physique ain't gonna last very long. It's not. I when I when I quit, uh, not quit, but I came out of high school went to UC Merced. They don't have a team. I gained legit freshman fifteen. I gained fifteen pounds off of double doubles and now. <laughs> you cause you get a free burger every day, huh? Every day, every day I work. Not every day, but I have to be. It's bullshit. Work. I get clock in for one minute and they'd be like, oh, we don't need you. Cool, I'm going to take my double-double. <laughs> <laughs> like, if they can't for real, no. might as well. Yeah, if you clock in for one minute and they're like, oh, you didn't need to clock in. I'd be like, double-double. <laughs> so you don't talk to, to any, you don't talk to any female or you don't talk to any women at school? At school? Nah. My class you just be up dry, in them dude. DMs, huh? Yeah, and, you just and be that's flirting hard because you know you can come off like a creep. You are like a creep. You don't, nah, dude. You've been single for ten years, and you got a fucking. Years, you look like you're forty. I said two years. Hey, I have you in my class. <laughs> nah, dude, I don't hit up girls in my classes because uh, I don't find any of them attractive. Shout out, damn, <laughs> yo, Merced, you guys need to step it up. Step it up a little bit. Or maybe you just nah, take, dude, maybe you just have I a see, trash ass major. That is true too. And two of my classes uh, classes are night classes, so you know I just get all like the the moms and coming off work like fuck. Um, yeah, my major is sociology, so it's predominantly uh, women. So you know me, I was only like it's like me and like three dudes, which are like it was probably literally like probably eighty twenty, the ratio. Yeah, that's nice. Mine's. Mine's straight up like fifty fifty, and then um, I only have one day class, and in there, there's like, you know, there's actually kids my age, but uh, it's only one class, dude. It's not like I got the whole um, pond to fish from, so there's not a lot of options. Yo, we straight up brought up baseball and didn't even fucking talk about it. Baseball. No, but what did we go like? <laughs> how I said Mookie bets, and then. Oh, we went to the XFL because I was like, what's out right now? Oh, Baseball yeah. yeah. Cause, yeah uh, I got, that's what I was going to say. NBA's out, but I don't really watch NBA. So the only sports we talk about is baseball. I got um, I got that Thursday off for for opening day for the Dodgers, March 26th. I always have Thursdays off. Even for school? No. Well, you better uh, email I have a, yeah, I can. I have a, that's just history photography. My teacher's, she's nuts, but she's cool <clears throat> at the same time. So, yeah, dude, she's insane, actually. How? She's like, she even mentioned it in the beginning of class. She goes, I squirrel all the time, like a dog squirrel. Just, like, you know, like, she'll what just the like, fuck? randomly change the topic. What, what's she her name? What, wait, what teacher is this? The English teacher? She's the history of photography teacher. Why are you taking that? It's just to fill my art requirement. It's actually easy, and it's not that boring. It's actually, Bro. it's just kind of like whatever. You, um, it's a good question. Do you think that college is a waste of time? Uh, half of it is, for sure. Uh, the other half. Um, and, and do you think it's way, too there's expensive? Like, there's certain classes... Um, wait, what happened? No, keep going. Uh, there's certain classes that... Do you think it... Uh, I was going to ask, do you think it's too expensive, but move on. Continue. All right. 
Um, Keep going. I'll get back to that. But there's certain classes that I've actually learned stuff from that are like, and everyone's like, oh, does this go for your major and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, the only reason I'm doing this major is for other reasons. So, like, maybe I want to be a teacher. Maybe I want to go into management, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not, I might not actually use my major, like, 100%. But then you can use, so, like, say I become, because my major is business administration. Say I become a teacher. I could teach econ or something like that. But that's not actually using your major. Some people would be like... They're like, why because you, going you can to major in anything and be a teacher. Exactly. So they're like, why are you going to school if you're not going to use your major? Like, why did you pick that major? I'm like, there's a lot of, you know? dude, I'm like, I want to look matter. up the percentage of people who get a major and don't use it. And the reason, okay, because I kind of do want to be a teacher and, and coach uh, aquatics. But uh, it's like, I'll pick a major that I'm somewhat interested in. That's why I picked that major, not because I'm going to actually use it, you know, like I need to go to school to be a teacher. So look, go, go for something that you want to do or like not want to do, but want to know about. More than 40% of college graduates take positions out of school that don't require a degree. The study found and more than one in five college grads still aren't working a degree demanding job. A decade after leaving school. And right here it says only 27% of college grads have a job related to their major. That's uh. So it's like you pay all this money to get a degree because it looks good on a resume. Not necessarily because that's what you're going to do or what you even want to right. do. And I'll be honest, that's exactly why I'm getting my degree. Just to have it. To have a degree. And to, <clears throat> I want to become a teacher. So That's yeah. fucking... That's, but it's yeah, it's, sickening it's to ridiculous. think about are these people who, you know, have all this student debt to get a degree that, I mean, it's going to, it may, it might help, you know, a little bit, but you're not even using it for what it is for, you know, which is just crazy because employers, employers don't really care what, a lot of employers don't really care what your degree is. It's like, oh, do you have a degree? It's like, yeah. So it's like the, for them, it's like. Hey, this person went the extra mile, right? And they they ask themselves, "Is this person educated?" But dude, but there, there's a the lot people of people. That, there's yeah. a lot of people degrees who are fucking dipshits. Yeah, for sure. Like our cousin Trevor. Um. <laughs> Why you get scared? <laughs> you scared ass, bro? I'm scared, Yo, of Trevor. First hey, of all, Trevor, Trevor never let Don's like, booty Trevor hole just went. went. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor would right never, when I said that shit would never lay a hand on me. But why you got a dog, Trevor? Like I'm that? not dogging him. He has a business degree. Congratulations to him. But and that's what I'm going for. I actually had uh, to talk to Trevor. I'm like, what classes can I Tre bullshit? <laughs> Trevor, <laughs> <laughs> Trevor didn't go to school to get a degree. He went to school to play football. Play football for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If Trevor wasn't playing football, he I, would not. I, no offense, but I don't know, bro. It'd been I hard. I think he would just dislike it to the point where he would. Uh, he may out. or may not have got a degree. I think he would have went for, and got a trade because he would still want to do something. He didn't want to just sit at home and do nothing because he, he's not like that. But being that. so fucking PC. Dude, he would have went Don't and got scared. a trade just like Tracer did or something, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm just giving him a hard time. Yeah, shout out to your teachers, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pussy. <laughs> hey, Trevor. Hey, Trevor. Hey, Trevor. Congratulations, Trevor. <laughs> he I, I just said he didn't do it. His tutors did. Shit, I'm glad he he got he finished it, so he can't say shit to all those people who don't have shit who don't have it. I mean, what what are we gonna say? You know, I got one more class. I still don't have mine. I got one more class in the summer, so I gotta finish that before I can even be on his level. And well, I played college sport too, but he he finished that shit out, man. He's got a big ass ring, dude. I know that, that shit is fat. fat. Did you see uh? You see Taylor's Insta story? Yeah, he yeah, like that's what you're punched the camera and went bam. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that thing is hard, boy. Oh, jeez. But um, how you like your first podcast? It's cool. Yeah, I'm. It um, I want to be, not maybe not the first one, but I I want to uh, roast everyone that only comes on once because I'm gonna probably come on more than once. So. Yeah, and uh, all of a sudden, all of a sudden. Cause I was like, "Yo, you want to do this podcast with me?" And you're like, "I'm busy. I am busy. I'm too this busy. Is literally, the only time I'm I too could busy. Do it. I'm too busy. And it worked and out guess perfectly what? with my schedule. So guess what? 
all of a sudden, I put in all the man hours behind the scenes, bought all this equipment, learned how to use it, yeah, man. came up with an, an idea, a name, where I'm going to shoot it, the lighting, learn how to do all that, did some podcasts, you know, all of yeah. a sudden... Hey, bro, I, uh, I, I want to come on your podcast. I do want to come on your podcast. I, on your I podcast. told you I don't have time to do all the work that you put into it. I didn't have that. Yeah, I know. It's all right. It's all right, bro. I forget. And I don't have the passion to do that either. I have, because there's like certain things that I'm interested in. Like, uh, I do my research on Supreme and stuff, just like you did your research on doing a podcast. And then you went even more into it and actually did it and put all this money, yeah. time, effort. But it's fun, man. I'm glad I did it. I, I enjoy it. And I hope the people listening enjoy it too. I don't really know how they're going to feel about this one. This was kind of just like all over the place and like quick through shit, but we'll see. But um, yeah, for uh, those listening, mulberrydreams.com, man. That's where you could buy your merchandise. I have a couple tees, like I said. I'm working on some more designs. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys continue to support this, and I'm gonna do my best to make sure it gets better and better every single time. So thanks for coming on, Dalton. No problem. You have any more hoodies left? I do not. So you're, they're out of stock. I got one, hundred bucks. Just kidding. I was, that's oh, forever. you in that resale game? Yeah, on huh? that resale game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> out of stock. That means it's worth more. You now. in that resale game? <laughs> Yeah, dude, I'm always on I never got too deep into that. Yeah, but, uh, dude, I got I got a bot ready to go for this whole season, and they're about to update it, I think, today or tomorrow for the first drop on Thursday for Supreme. Wow. So they, yeah, because they flopped on BOGO week. Supreme changed their stuff, so they updated their, uh, like, it's called ATC programming and all that. I don't know. They try to explain it without being too nerdy um, in the Discord, but, yeah, they're going to update it, so hopefully... It just cooks. Well, hopefully you cook. Chef D. Hoof cooking. What's the uh, what's the uh, Supreme uh, catcher's chest catcher's chest going for? Uh, I don't think it was going for much. I could look it up right now if you want to. It only take me a sec. But uh, the big item of this week was the Tupac T-shirt. Um, I didn't even see it. Yeah, it's the picture of. Oh no, I did see it of the of when he did the hologram at Coachella. Oh, okay. It's a picture of that on the T-shirt and the black one, and the big sizes, which usually size small goes for the most, large and XL are going for the most. So it's forty eight dollars plus tax shipping. You're looking at like sixty, low sixty, and they're going for like one fifty, I think. For a T-shirt. Yeah. Jesus. For a T-shirt on X, larger XL. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So if you get multiple of those, you're gonna make. If you get like three, you're gonna make at least two hundred bucks. So that'd be cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. So you plan on making some money this year? I uh, hope so, yeah. Without actually spending too much on items I keep myself. But yeah. You know. Well, yeah. Anyone uh, who's interested in Supreme and shit and don't get your hands on items, this dude right here, he usually he usually cops shit almost every week. At least some of the hyped items. So. But yeah, man. I think that's about it, dude. Sounds good, man. Thanks for having me. Hell yeah, dude. Gonna Anytime. do it again. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. This 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 has to get the this has to get at least four hundred views before you can come back on. Four hundred views, huh? Yeah. I don't think any I of them. I don't know, I can't uh the one you did with X was funny, man. Like that one's hard to top. Dad was Yeah, but that one has the least amount of views actually. Right now. Hmm. But <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if the people me, like but. you. <laughs> But uh, advertising. Everyone watch. This is the Mulberry. This is the Mulberry Dreams podcast. My name is Dallas Hooper. We'll see you next time. <laughs>